I'm Caitlin from Fluent in Three Months, and today I will be teaching you how to count in Japanese. So, first things first, when we're counting from 1 to 10 in Japanese, there are two systems of counting. There is the Sino-Japanese way and the Native Japanese way. The Sino-Japanese way is most like counting in English where we count 1, 2, 3, and so on. The Native Japanese way is usually only used as a counter to count specific objects now. So instead of just saying in general 1, 2, 3, you're saying one of those, one of this, two of that. First we'll learn the Native Japanese way because the Sino-Japanese way is what we'll use to count from 1 to a trillion. The Native Japanese numbers from 1 to 10 are Hitotsu, Futatsu, Mitsu, Yotsu, Itsutsu, Mutsu, Nanatsu, Yatsu, Kokonotsu, and To. Now, when reading those numbers, it's very easy to tell which ones are the native Japanese numbers. They always end in su, except for ten, which is To. So when you see the kanji, it'll be read as the kanji, followed by the small su. So the native Japanese way is the universal counter. That just means it's used to add a quantity to some kind of object, and it can be used for pretty much anything, um, except for like time and things like that. But if, let's say you go to the bakery and you just want one donut, you can point to the donut and you can say, Hitotsu kudasai, or Hitotsu onegaishimasu. And that just means, one of these, please. So now that you know the native Japanese numbers, let's learn the Sino-Japanese numbers. The Sino-Japanese numbers are used to just count in general, and especially to count large numbers. So the Sino-Japanese numbers from 1 to 10 are Ichi, Mi, San, Yon, or Shi, Go, Roku, Nana, or Shichi, Hachi, Ku, Kyu, and Ju. Now you'll notice that a few of those have more than one way to say them, 4, 7, and 9. It's more common to say yong because she sounds like the word for death. Same with the number nine. It's more common to say ku than ku because ku sounds like the word agony. And because of that, those, those numbers are actually considered very unlucky numbers. Now, seven is a lucky number in Japanese, but when we say shichi, it still contains that shi sound. So it's also a less common reading. You'll normally say nana. The only exception to that is when those numbers are combined with some kind of counter, usually for time. So for instance, Shigatsu is April, the fourth month. Shichiji is seven o'clock. So you don't say them as Yongatsu or Nanaji. So how do we count to 100? Well, it's actually really easy because it uses a stacking system. So to stack numbers in Japanese, it's kind of just like adding them together. So to say 11, it's juichi. 10 plus one. Ju plus ichi equals juichi, 11. 12 is juni. Ju plus ni, juni, 12. And then so forth up to 20. So what is 20? 20 is niju, two tens. Niju, 20. Sanju, 30. Yonju, 40. Goju, 50. Rokuju, 60. Nanaju, 70. Hachiju, 80. Kyuju, 90. And Hyaku, 100. So, after that, it just continues from there. Hyaku ichi, Hyaku ni, nanani. So, if you want to learn how to say higher numbers, there is one difference that can kind of be confusing for English learners when they're trying to learn numbers in Japanese. In, in English, when you add the comma to larger numbers, you add it after three zeros. But in Japanese, once you get past 10,000, you add it after four zeros. So you have to kind of think of things in 10,000s. So you have hyaku, 100, sen, 1,000, man, 10,000. So the next big counter from there would be juman, 100,000 or 10 ten thousands. So you have to kind of change your thinking to remember these numbers. So then we have hyakuman, 1 million. Then the base counter changes again with oku, ichioku, 
100 million. Juoku is 1 billion. 10 100 millions. And Icho is 1 trillion. So if you want to know more about counting in Japanese, such as counters, which are really important to know, make sure to click the link below in the description that links to the article that goes with this video. And I hope you enjoyed learning how to count in Japanese. If you have any questions or you want to leave a comment, leave it below and make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get more updates on how to speak Japanese. Arigato, minasan, mata ne!